Now, would you be willing to provide a scan of your eye in order to get hold of a new cryptocurrency? That is what is required to authenticate your identity if you want to use WorldCoin, a new form of digital money that has just been launched. It's the brainchild of Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. The scanners look like this, and the company says they are necessary because AI is making it more difficult to distinguish humans from bots. The release comes as regulators increasingly crack down on crypto over fears that it is enabling fraud and unhealthy speculation. Despite its name, WorldCoin will not be available in the US. Let's bring in Elisa Gritzi, senior reporter and AI specialist at Coindesk. Elisa, you have actually had your iris scanned by WorldCoin. What was that like? Uh, it was quite interesting. I'm the sort of person, I don't even use Face ID on my phone, and I was quite um, apprehensive about the experience. It was easier than I remember, th than I expected, but it definitely felt a little bit weird to have this big orb look straight in your eyes and, and flash lights. But the, the overall experience, I would say, was, was smoother than I thought it would be. Yeah, because I think a lot of people that are into crypto like it because of the anonymity it offers. And I think surely forcing people to scan their irises, that kind of goes against that principle, doesn't it? I think that's a really interesting question, Kate, because in, in crypto, we are sort of anonymous in the sense that my wallet and my my personhood, my my person cannot really be associated. But in a way, we're almost less anonymous than we are in the normal world because you can't actually see everything I do on the blockchain. It's just that you don't know it's exactly me doing it. You see just my wallet doing it in most applications. There are some more private applications. But what WorldCoin is trying to do is take your iris and make a, a cryptographic, a, a string of numbers, let's say, that it's, it's more similar to a wallet. So it's, it's kind of closer to the ideal in that it's not my iris or my face that are identifying them, other than that moment when my iris is getting scanned and processed. So you say it's more like a wallet than just a cryptocurrency. Explain to me what you mean by that. So it's it's more about the identification. You could think of it as an almost like an, anonym, an anonymized ID card. So they scan the iris, they process it in a certain way, and then they come up with a like an equation, let's say, a, a string of numbers of sorts. And then based on all of that, you can create all sorts of applications. You can create applications around wallets, around uh, social media, um, with the sort of grand idea being that eventually this will be used to distribute universal basic income around the world. How will it help distribute universal basic income? Again, we have to maybe use our imagination a little bit. So if we see what's happening right now in the world, we have all these chatbots and autonomous agents coming to participate in the economy. So if I wanted to train a chatbot or a deepfake to do this interview, I could, perhaps not right now, but in a few years I would be able to. So the problem is when you have these agents participating in our society and perhaps in our economy, how do you know who is who? How do you know you're talking to me as opposed to my chatbot deepfake? And in these situations, how would you know to distribute the income to me and not just my chatbot? So within that world, having something that proves that you are human and you are a unique human. You, I am me, I am Elisa and not somebody else could, could be quite useful. But of course, as the team says themselves, there is a lot to be done um, for WorldCoin to be used in that way, both from them, but also from the wider world. Yeah, because I imagine it could also be open to manipulation, you know, for example, using the eyes of a child, for example, to try and get, get by it. So it seems like there's a, a lot of things that still need to be figured out with this. I am interested, though, in why it has not got regulatory approval in the US, but it has in other parts of the world. What's behind that? It's, it's unclear exactly what has happened to that. What the team has told me is that uh, they decided not to launch in the U.S. because of the lack of regulatory clarity. 
it's my understanding that they have been in touch with regulators in all the many, many countries that they have launched their apps in and made the orbs available. Uh, but the U.S. right now is at a tricky point, and it's unclear ex exactly what is happening. It could probably be one of two things. One would be there's issues around biometric data, because it's my understanding these are not, there's no comprehensive regulation on that, such as the GDPR in the EU. Uh, and the second reason would be around uh, securities laws, the ongoing litigation against exchanges, against programs that distribute tokens uh, based on user behavior, which perhaps Worldcoin could fall under the laws, but we don't quite know what the issue is at this moment. Okay, and what is your evaluation? Do you think this is going to be a successful venture? Um, it's hard to say. I would definitely say that at the conference I was last week, there was a lot of excitement around Worldcoin. There was, it seems that that fear that initially was there around the iris scans has dissipated, at least to a certain extent, um, and at least to the people I spoke to. And if indeed they have, as they say, I think today, this morning I checked, it's like 2.0, 2, 2 million 62,000 users around the world, including a lot of users in Asia, in Africa, Europe, and Latin America. That is definitely a success, and it shows that people are interested in this, they're excited about this, and they want to participate in any way they can. Now, for the project to be successful, developers need to use these tools to build applications and grow an ecosystem around this world ID. All right. Elisa Gritzi, thank you very much.